in SAP Treasury Management. We're going to discuss about in brief about what exactly is Treasury Management. Hi, I'm Vikramaditya and welcome to Jade Software. And Treasury Management is basically based on a series of solutions that primarily analyze and optimize business processes in financial area of a company. So the transaction manager, who's a transaction manager? A core task in many finance departments is concluding financial transactions depending on the company policy. The emphasis can either be on providing an internal service for the affiliated group companies or participating actively in the financial markets in order to invest liquid assets. Finance planned investments or hedge existing risks. The transaction provides the instruments for processing the related financial transactions. The transaction manager helps us to relate this financial transaction from deal capture through to transferring the relevant data to financial accounting. The system supports both traditional treasury departments that focus on trading as well as asset management departments. This has the advantage that it enables us to use the same platform for various types of transactions. In short, uh, finance to longer term strategic investments is what we plan for. Now, when it comes to the when it comes to our uh, market risk analyzer, where we have this market risk analyzer we have, it, it basically decides traditional finance management tasks such as cash management and liquidity assurance. Effective market risk management is decisive factor in securing our company's competitive position. So in this, in this way, the market risk analyzer offers extensive position evaluations such as mark to market evalu evaluations of financial transactions. It also includes tools for calculating risk and return figures, including exposure, future values, sensitivities, and value at risk. When we run these reports, we can incorporate both contracted positions and fictitious financial transactions in the calculations. The valuations can be based on both real and simulated market prices. So together with a, a high degree of uh, flexibility for creating reports, the market risk analyzer provides a reliable evaluation basis for market risk controlling. Then we have something called credit risk analyzer. The credit risk analyzer focuses on measuring, analyzing and controlling country counterparty default risks. The first phase aims to cover the specific risk associated with financial transactions uh, in a company. So the credit risk analyzer enables us to control risks actively by setting limits. This is supported by flexible limit uh, management functions with online monitoring as well as extensive reporting options. As a result, managers are in a position to identify credit risks as they occur and take evasive action. Then we have something called the portfolio analyzer. Given that the funds available to for investment are usually limited and that there are numerous investment options to choose from, the crucial question for investment policy decisions is how well the investment have actually performed. The economic success of an investment is therefore a critical factor when it comes to making investment policy decisions. So the, the portfolio analyzer is designed to provide the answer regarding the economic success of investments. The focus lies on analyzing performance that is precisely measuring the investment successes achieved as well as comparing with targets to be achieved. Furthermore, details of performance achieved according to a cause that is the contribution of each portfolio element to overall performance has been enabled. The basis for these evaluations is the portfolio structure which lets you group investments 
into different categories. Now we can evaluate portfolio. Now you can run evaluations for portfolios at different levels in the portfolio hierarchy for an asset category across several portfolios. Now account analyzer. The account analyzer enables us to evaluate positions and suppositions of the transaction manager with regard to the position component values. The account analyzer, the account analyzer basically reads the position component values of the positions and suppositions from the transaction manager and stores them as key figures in the result database. This enables us to, uh, you know, for example, to store the position component values on a daily or a weekly basis based on original market data in the re in the result database. We can also calculate our own position by uh, key figures based upon the original position components, uh, which are not available in the position management of the transaction manager. From the result database, we can generate reports uh, in the analyzer info uh, uh, in the analyzer information system that's called AIS, which displays key figures. Uh, we can set up portfolio hierarchies with the differentiation criteria, unequal to company code, security class, and security account, which enables you to aggregate position values on different levels. Now, implementation considerations. So when we are implementing the implementing, uh, to be able to use SAP Treasury and risk management, we first need to activate the enterprise extension EASF financial services. I repeat, we need to make sure that we activate enterprise extension EAFSF, SF, uh, EAFS financial services in the customizing activity activate business functions and the transaction code for this would be SFWS, SFW5, sorry, so we'll be going ahead with the transaction code for SFW5. And furthermore, in the area of uh, SAP Treasury and uh, Risk Management, there are some enterprise business functions that we can only use after we activate the relevant enterprise business functions in the customizing activity, uh, activate the business functions. That would be, a, a, yeah, th that's what I uh, was uh, mentioning, like SFW5. And to be able to use the functions of individual components of uh, SAP Treasury and Risk Management, we need to make the required settings in the implementation guide, the IMG for Treasury and Risk Management. So we make the settings for business partner in customizing you under treasury and risk management for uh, basic functions and uh, SAP business partner for financial services as well. Then comes the integration part. So the SAP risk and uh, risk uh, and treasury management is an integrated solution. So we'll talk about the integration part now uh, from here onwards and um, so if we see there are a lot of in-house cash we have cash management liquidity planner and uh, then this treasury and risk management is linked with the financial purchase to pay and financial order to cash the o2c and p2p they're linked to the cash management and they're, they're all interlinked and then we treasury and risk management continuously has interaction with the financial markets banks information systems and accounts. Basically, it's all in between the supplier and the customer. So in between these two, we have all these uh, Maditya, and welcome to Jade Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss very briefly about SAP TRM. What exactly is TRM? TRM is stands for Treasury and Risk Management. And this is something which we uh, would be using for uh, especially specifically for the treasury and how do we actually manage that and how do we manage the risk. So what exactly is TRM all about? The treasury and risk management uh, commonly abbreviated as TRM 
is one of the key components of uh, the NTP SAP S4 HANA platform or in the past we have the ECC as well. So it is referred to as the management of an enterprise holding cash and uh, work capital with ultimate goal of managing the firm's liquidity and mitigating its uh, financial and reputational risk. The TRM is in, in ECC is an integrated solution in which the various components are closely linked. It includes the management of an enterprise, holdings, cash and working capital. It includes the management of an enterprise, holdings, cash and working capital with ultimate goal of managing the firm's liquidity and mitigating it as a operational, financial and reputational uh, strategy. The main pillar of business is its finances, of course, and which primarily includes asset and risk management, the TRM, and cash liquidity management. The process of treasure trove and risk management mitigation includes managing cash, investigating, and other financial assets and risks such as hedge management, hedge accounting, and exposure management as well. Integration, the TRM, the Treasury and Risk Management is integrated into solution in which the various components are closely linked like the financial transaction managed in the transaction manager and can be evaluated and monitored using the analyzer components. So they are linked and in addition to the TRM analyzer components, we have the market risk analyzer, credit risk analyzer, portfolio analyzer and transaction manager. Market risk analyzer alongside traditional uh, finance management risk tasks such as cash management and liquidity assurance. Effective market risk management is a decisive factor in securing your company's competitive position. So in this field, the market risk analyzer offers extensive position evaluations such as market to market uh, valuations and mark to market valuations of financial transactions. And it also includes tools for calculating risk and return figures, including exposure, uh, future uh, values, sensitivities and value at risk. And when you run these reports, you can incorporate both contracted positions and fixtures financial transactions in the calculations. The valuations can be based on both real and stimulated market prices as well. Credit Risk Analyzer. So the credit risk analyzer focuses on measuring, analyzing and controlling counterparty default risk. The first phase aims to cover the specific risks associated with financial transactions in a company. The credit risk analyzer enables you to control risks actively by setting limits. And this is supported by flexible limit management functions with online monitoring as well as extensive reporting options. Now the portfolio analyzer Given that the funds available for the investment are usually limited and that there are numerous investment options to choose from, the crucial question for investment policy decision is how well the investment have actually performed. When you invest, what exactly is the return? The economic success of an investment is therefore a critical factor when it comes to making investment policy decisions. So the portfolio of analyzer is designed to provide the answers to this question. It measures the exact return to investments, compares the results to prescribed targets and breaks down the overall performance into its components parts at, at, by attributing the individual portfolio positions to the total result. The transaction manager component provides the instruments for processing the related financial transactions from deal capture through to transferring the relevant data to financial accounting. The system supports both traditional treasury departments that focus